In this video, I'm going to take you through step by step as I set up a new iPhone. Okay, here's the new iPhone. This is an iPhone 17. And the first thing that is super helpful for the setup process is that Apple ships new iPhones with a bit of charge. So you don't need to worry about plugging your iPhone into the mains and waiting around for it to charge. Obviously, this might not be the case if you grab a refurbished or second hand phone. So bear that in mind. Anyway, when I first turn this new iPhone on, I'm greeted with this screen. Swiping up, I'm prompted to select a language and in the next screen, what region of the world I'm using the iPhone in. In the next screen, I can select how I'd like text and icons to appear on my iPhone screen. You can leave this as default and change it later in settings if you want, and that's what I'll do here. In the next screen, I can set up things like my Apple ID and Wi-Fi password using another iPhone or iPad. You can also do all of this manually, but the quick start method is much, well, quicker and easier. I have my iPhone 13 here, and when I bring it close to the iPhone 17, I'm prompted to set up my new phone using the Apple ID that the iPhone 13 is currently logged into. When I hit continue, I'm prompted to position the image on the iPhone 17 in the camera of the iPhone 13. Once that's done, I can select what account I want to sign in. I have the additional option here because I have my son set up on a family account. You also have the option to set up a new child account here if you're setting an iPhone up for your child. I'm now prompted to enter the passcode for my iPhone. Once that's done, I need to wait a few seconds for the iPhone to activate. There is a software update available for this phone, which I can do now or later. I'll select later for now. In the next screen, there's a rundown of Apple's data and privacy policy. And on the screen after that, I can set up Face ID. It's as simple as putting your face in the frame and moving around while the iPhone's Face ID sensor gets to know your face, as demonstrated here by my incredible cinematography skills. All right, so on the next screen, I can choose whether to set up this new iPhone using an iCloud backup or by transferring data directly from another iPhone. Both of these options are great if you just want a carbon copy of the apps and settings on an iPhone you already have. You can also set a new iPhone up completely fresh by tapping on the other options button here. Whatever option you choose, you'll need to agree to Apple's terms and conditions to proceed. By all means, take the time to read through this and make sure you're happy with it before agreeing. The iPhone will now sign me in and on the next screen, I'll select the download from iCloud option here. And on the next screen, I can choose what I want to bring over to this phone. I'll keep things simple by just hitting continue here, but you can dive in and select what apps, data and settings you want if needed. Next, I can choose to enter info for any credit and debit cards I have linked to my Apple ID. After that, I can choose whether to share iPhone analytics with Apple and whether to share app analytics with app developers. Next up is some info about Apple intelligence. Now, you won't see this on iPhone models that don't support it, obviously. There's also info on features like the action button. And again, you may not see this depending on the model of iPhone you're setting up. Next up, I can set up Siri. Again, this can be done later if you prefer. And then I get some additional info about emergency SOS. Restoring from iCloud didn't actually take too long, took about 15 to 20 minutes overall. And now that it's done, I can dive in and start using my new iPhone 17. All of the apps that you bring across, if you choose to bring apps across from another iPhone or iPad, will download in the background, but can be used as soon as they are downloaded. And that's how I set up a new iPhone. Let me know how you do it down in the comments and give that like button a good hard slap while you're down there. I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. And if you want to know the easiest and quickest way to set up a new iPad, watch this video next.